At around 8pm on Wednesday the 2nd of December 1998, a tragic incident forever changed CFA. At a forest fire north of the small town of Lytton near Ballarat, two tankers, one from Geelong City and one from Geelong West, were engulfed by fire after a change in wind direction. All five Geelong West firefighters died. Well, the incident was a total shock to us, of course. Um, we were in Melbourne to get a phone call from my son to say um, that Jason went on a, uh, uh, a fire truck this afternoon and he's just had word from a colleague that the fire truck has been lost. The Geelong West fire truck had been lost. And I said, how could you lose a fire truck? But that, he didn't answer me any further. On subsequent phone calls to the, uh, to the CFA in Geelong, uh, Lex the man answered my call and I said, no mucking around, give me the facts. And he said, Bill, I'm sorry, but Jason has passed with four other guys on the fire truck in the Linton Forest. And that was just, that just imploded. And it was terrible. We were going to bed, bed fairly late that night, around about Cork, quarter to 12, I heard on the wireless on the 774 that there was, a, there was five people got killed up at Linton. And I didn't mention where the truck was from, it just said five died. And I thought, hmm, if, if that had been Stuart, you know, we would have known because it's, on, it's on, on, on the news. I didn't tell, tell my Carol. wife about it. I, I just went, went to bed and uh, maybe an hour, hour or so later, I heard a few cars pull up outside and I looked out the window and of course you saw the seas. CFA and the police cars there, and I, I went over and woke up Carol and I said, I think you're going to hear the worst news that you've ever heard. Mm -hmm. A 107 day coronial inquest followed. How the inquest rolled out, um, it was a little like Simon said, they were um, Different, different people were in there for different, different uh, things. Um, yeah, it was that was very emotional because every day we went there, we went over and over, and it just kept bringing back the torment, and it still does today. The families went up by by bus, mm. and we all came home together on a bus mm. and that was really good therapy yes. coming home if someone didn't Have understand what happened or so on mm. we sort of discussed it and if mm. we needed to cry we did if we needed to laugh laugh if we did yeah, we did but the therapy on the bus home was was really really yes. good there were 55 recommendations handed down as cfa introduced programs to improve planning procedures and equipment we were looked after extremely well from day one with, from the CFA, I've got to say. Um, their attention to our needs were superlative. Uh, there was not a want that was not acceded to with, within reason. And um, to this day, we have people like Jamie McKenzie who gives us a call, how you doing? What are you up to? Uh, and that sort of thing. So I can only speak very highly of the CFA from that point of view. Uh, I, I, think, I, think it's, I think it's been really, really good because since 1998 there's been no, no firemen lost in the same way. Mm. Uh, now that they're doing this, this, this staff, staff ride and the lessons learned out of this are just at, at Absolutely brilliant. So, mm. yeah. The coroner made 55 recommendations in his uh, coroner's report. Um, we're not sure how many of those have been adapted, but I'd be very interested to know how many have been adapted. Uh, but 
I'd suggest that a lot of them would have been um, a fair percentage, which has been good, which becomes training tools for, um, you know, CFA personnel and I'm sure through our DNRE, uh, the same thing would apply. In the military, staff rides educate people on the actions taken during battle. Through the dedication and commitment of several local CFA members, and with the support of the families of the five CFA firefighters killed, a Lytton staff ride was established. Yeah, he, 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 that's right. He, he took us to lunch out to the Warren Ponds Hotel. That, that's right. I think, I, think, I think the majority of families were there. They were. Yeah, we we, in, they we were invited he, the families. And he was suggesting that they wanted to do a training, training yeah. program using Lytton and it was unanimous. No yeah, one, no one questioned. No one, no one complained. No. No one, no one said no. I don't want you to go there. This is this sounds mm. this sounds really good. Mm. And then it, it just sort of evolved. Every now and again, he'd sort of ring us up and say, "I, I want to." This is what I want to do. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, and yeah, just to yeah. get yeah mm. our edifice on it, which mm. was which was quite and and to see it come to fruition, uh, the way that it has developed um, is exceptional. Well, I'd and uh, I, I still think that, and I, I don't know whether he's, he's got this, but as part of his training package, I believe, you know, if you want to be a firefighter, this is what you've got to do. Hmm. This incorporates all the information known as the day progressed. Activities where participants discuss decision making, a moment to reflect at the memorial, and at all the staff rides to date a first-hand account from then strike team leader, Simon Scarf. And I think Max would say the same. Mm. We now know the detail. And to have Simon play his part, I believe every time, there were 17 last year, there's to be 18 this year, and he'll possibly do the 18 again. That's just phenomenal from his point of view. And I understand that some of his time is in his own volunteer time. It's not all paid by CFA, which is, again is incredulous to the person he is. As Max said, a week after the, the death of the boys, he came around to their home and sat and spoke and told probably that same story. Hmm. Um, and it would not have altered. And I can remember uh, the times during the inquest and we'd, we'd break and come out into the foyer and, and we'd, you know, go and speak with him. He wasn't, he wasn't uh, the ogre, he was, he was a friend. Last month, Bill and Max experienced the staff ride for the first time. The thing that I think has been wonderful has been this Linton staff ride. I don't know whose brainchild it was, but I, I fear I know who it is. They have included us in it all of the time. Um, any alterations, changes, they've come and had our blessing, which we, which we truly thank them for. Uh, but to see, having been on this today, my daughter came up here and my son Last year, they did the ride and my daughter said, Dad, you won't believe it. You won't believe it, it's just incredible. But to come now and sit here in, the, in this forest with that in front of us um, and just sit and bide time and think it's just yeah. serene, yeah, very, beautiful, very, absolutely very calming. beautiful. And just another little side thing as well, that sometimes you can be sitting here calm, calm like this, mm. and next thing a puff of breeze will go through. Yeah, yeah. And you go, whoops, yeah. Yeah, sort of, that was, brings you back to the yeah, night, yeah. which could have been. But it is a very calming, calming yeah. area. Mm. That's a lo you know, lovely, whilst it wasn't good what happened here, but it was no. lovely to come and and uh, sit here and reflect. Yes, yeah. yes. It's a, very, it, it, it's a very special place. Absolute, yeah. absolute special, place. special place. 
my thoughts uh, are what my daughter said. It's just incredible. And as she said, Dad, I now know. how my brother passed.